Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Sam. You should go ahead and subscribe down below so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, so if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm actually sitting in my car. It is like 102 degrees out right now, or at least that's what my dashboard says. But I'm actually uh, hoping to do this super quickly because there is no AC in here. Well, I can turn it on. Uh, and it'll be fine, but then the camera will shake, so I don't really want to deal with that. So here I am suffocating for you guys. So um, due to my uh, sacrifice that I've made to provide this video for you guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. Um, I just wanted to do a updated video on the medicine that I've been taking, which is Wellbutrin. For those of you who may or may not already know, I take 150 milligrams of Wellbutrin which is also known as bupropion hydrochloride extended release yeah pretty sure that's it um but i take that medication um due to depression or whatever my doctor felt the need to prescribe that to me for and um i kind of wanted to do an updated video because i did do a video where i talked about my two-week update and so you guys seem to really really enjoy that video and so i figured i would do a two month updated review for you guys uh firstly i want to say thank you guys so much for all of the positive feedback on that video i honestly just made that video just to kind of document how i was feeling and share my experiences with you guys and i honestly didn't know how many people actually take wellbutrin until i started reading the comments and seeing the dms that people send me so um it's it's good to know that i'm not alone and it's good to see that there are also other people who are going through almost the exact same thing if not the exact same thing that i'm going through so i did just want to say thank you guys so much for the positive feedback i also do enjoy seeing how the medicine has affected you guys so um that has been really really good it makes me good to know that the side effects or the things that i am feeling you guys feel too if you are taking it and if you are not taking it i'm so glad that i have been able to be a helpful resource for you guys during this hard time and this confusion time because I know when I was about to take it I was searching videos all over the place reading so many articles on Wellbutrin and just all of that info and so uh, I'm glad I could be that resource for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and start off with this uh, little update. I don't have anything written down. I'm just going to go ahead and just talk. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I said in my two-week review. I haven't watch that video um i honestly probably should have watched it before starting this video off but i didn't and i'm just gonna go ahead and talk here so um i can honestly say that things have gotten so much better since i started taking it um i noticed that i no longer feel anxious or sad anymore which is good for me because i am or i was a very over emotional person so i could literally watch a commercial on tv you know those sad puppy ones and i would literally be crying or i could hear a song and hear like a super sentimental part in that song and i promise you not i would literally be crying i'd be like oh my god like it would touch me so much um just like anything anything would just touch me so much um and basically moral of the story i've noticed that my emotions have been kind of blocked in a way um i noticed that i don't get anxious um and if i do it's weird because my body knows that i'm getting anxious or it knows that i should feel anxious so i will see other side effects but not actual anxiety like i used to feel before i would feel like just super anxious and I would feel um, just this feeling like you guys know what anxiety feels like it's just a feeling of anxiousness and so now I don't ever really I don't ever like I can honestly say I don't feel that feeling anymore even when I know I should be super stressed or super anxious so I honestly could say that I thought that was super super weird at first because I noticed it and I was like whoa like why am I not anxious right now? Like, what? Even though I, I knew I should be anxious. Um, but, I like I said, I notice other things that my body does to where it knows I should be anxious. But instead of feeling it, I do something else. So, 
um, when I am anxious, um, instead of feeling anxious, I will occasionally just take a deep breath and let it out. And so I don't really ever do that. And so I started noticing that when my body does take a deep breath and then let it out during a stressful situation in which I would normally feel anxiety, um, I don't feel anxiety and my body just naturally takes a deep breath and takes a deep breath and then lets it out. So um, it's clear to see that my body still knows that I should be anxious. I just don't feel that anxiousness. So honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of really like that because I don't feel anxious. And I, I don't know, it has saved me so much pain and just stress because I don't really feel that emotion anymore. So it's been good. I feel super chilled. Um, I don't really stress about things anymore. I also noticed um, that I don't get angry anymore. I used to get very frustrated or kind of like pissed off or angry at certain times. And I notice now I don't feel anger. So um, someone can do something stupid or someone can say something that would have normally made me mad or done something that would have normally made me mad. But instead, I just don't feel that anger. I kind of know I should be mad, but I'm not mad. Um, so honestly, that has been good for me because it makes me realize what is important and what truly isn't important. Um, so it has made me more relaxed it's made me more just like a whatever kind of person even though that could be a bad thing because i don't want people to take that for granted or i don't want someone to notice that about me and then just think that i never get mad about things but here's the thing instead of me getting mad now or feeling anger i kind of just talk out the problem or address the issue um instead of being mad and like petty and just um causing an argument or things like that I'm just more so the person who's more calm now and will just talk it out um, and so I have never been that way before so I don't know if it's because of the medicine or because I'm learning and growing but honestly I could def I definitely think it's because of the medicine because because I don't feel anxious anymore or stressed, I notice that I also don't get angry anymore. Um, so that has been super good for me because when you are over emotional like I was, um, it causes issues in your relationships, friendships, day-to-day -day lives, and I've noticed that now, because I don't feel sad or angry, my life has been a lot more relaxed, more chilled. Um, I'm not as stressed. Well, I don't really feel stressed. So um, I don't know. It's been good for me, honestly. I prefer to live this way. If you were to ask me if, um, you know, if you're like, hey, Sam, do you like to feel anger and anxiety and sadness and stressful situations uh, versus not feeling them? I would seriously prefer to not feel it because that keeps me from overreacting feeling over emotional feeling stressed blah 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 so i personally do enjoy that one thing that i do have to add on that i don't enjoy about not feeling emotions of anger and sadness and okay hi guys so my camera cut off because i didn't have enough storage so i just cleared that up um i turned my ac on because i'm literally sweating so bad in this car it's so hot outside um but i'm gonna be super quick with this video um because i already got through most of it but what i was saying is that um it's harder for me to feel true happiness and happiness because i notice that i don't feel anger and anxiety um, and I didn't think that I wouldn't feel happiness but honestly it kind of makes sense but here's the thing I'm perfectly fine it's not that I don't feel happiness it's that I don't feel true happiness um, so I have two theories either I have experienced so much negativity for such a long period of time that all my emotions and my mind really knows is to feel that or like feel that emotion or just my brain is just adapted to that emotion or theory number two that because I don't feel anxious and sadness and like anger that it's harder for me to feel true happiness so an example to 
kind of explain that and elaborate on that is I went to my cousin's baptism last weekend and I got to see my entire family like everyone it's crazy how many amount of family members I have but um, it was hard for me to truly embrace and feel happy because normally I would be like oh my gosh like I get to see my whole family and I was happy like I was like oh my gosh like my aunts and stuff and my uncles but it was like a different feeling than what I probably would have normally felt um, so that is one downside uh, and one thing that I'm trying to do is kind of focus on um, understanding that feeling again and getting my body to recognize what true happiness feels like and what it feels like to be truly happy um, because I honestly believe that theory number one is what I'm experiencing which is I felt negativity for so long that it's hard to understand when to feel truly happy um, or at least that's what I'm gonna go ahead and believe um, I don't want to believe the second one even though the second theory makes more sense um, so honestly I'm just gonna try and train my body to the best of its ability to um, adapt to happiness and to feel true happiness and stuff um, and so I don't know I, it's been fine so far um, I can sit down for hours which is another thing I wanted to add on whereas before I couldn't sit down for 45 minutes without feeling restless and feeling like I constantly had to go do something or feeling like I had a billion things that I needed to do now I feel relaxed I can sit down for hours and not mine I can focus and do work and be super productive so that has completely changed the game uh, number one in my emotions which I feel way better about feeling this way than I did constantly feeling anxious and restless and uh, sad and whatnot um, and the ability to focus and sit down and be able to be productive and just be there and be chill and so I honestly enjoy that aspect of the medicine um, and I have noticed that I started getting my appetite back which in my last video I mentioned that my appetite was at zero I was never hungry um, I had to train myself to eat not that it was ever an issue but I kind of had to force myself or remind myself when to eat whereas now um, I noticed literally yesterday that my appetite is coming back so I actually feel hunger um, which is good because I thought I was gonna not feel hungry ever and I was just gonna always have to um, remind myself to eat and blah 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 um, but no I, I get hungry now which is good and bad I guess because I'm trying to lose weight and I can definitely say that the medicine did help lose help me lose weight um, because it would since I didn't have an appetite I would just eat until I was like okay I'm good and now that I feel um, my appetite again I'm just like eating 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 so I really need to watch that um, I have been taking Wellbutrin for two months now um, I have three months of my prescription left to go and then I meet with my doctor again I'm honestly gonna consider upping my dosage just because I noticed recently that it is a little bit harder um, to be productive um, I don't know if I'm like fully adjusted to it or whatnot but I kind of do want to explain these things to my doctor to see if he thinks upping the dosage would be a good idea or if he just thinks that I should just stay where I'm at um, but yeah honestly you guys I am so happy I made this decision um, I don't regret this decision at all I was very hesitant on whether I wanted to take medication or not um, because of like the stigma and things like that but not only that I also wanted to live my life without having to depend on this but in reality sometimes our brains are just not chemically balanced and our neurotransmitters are just not fully balanced we can be producing too much of this certain chemical and not enough of this certain chemical and so um, Wellbutrin or antidepressants are meant to balance those out so your body understands okay I'm producing too much of this let me bring that down or I'm producing too little of this let me bring that up and so that is why I decided to take the medicine and to go on it 
and I can honestly say I don't care what anyone has to say I'm actually really proud that I take my medicine um, because I've noticed such a change in myself and such a change that I don't think anyone else can feel besides me and so I'm proud like I'm happy that I take it um, I'm happy to help others I'm happy to give my experiences to you guys and if you guys have any questions leave them down below um don't feel scared don't feel uh, like you're alone because you're not alone there's so many people who take antidepressants more people than you would even figure as soon as I started taking them and I started talking about them to my friends or my family or um, people that I just know you will not believe how many people take antidepressants or medication for mental health so honestly if you are going through something or you feel like this could help you um, go to Talk to your doctor go get counseling go seek a therapist whatever you need go ahead and help yourself because nobody is gonna help you but yourself so you have to be that person who takes the initial step to seek help and so um, yeah there's all I have to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, like I said I do not regret this decision whatsoever I'm super super proud and happy that I can live my life for me and be able to be okay and be productive and see these good changes in myself and so um hopefully if you guys ever feel the need to take this medicine or any other type of antidepressant that you feel like you can and don't feel scared don't feel anxious um your body will do the best it can for you and now it's your turn to try and help your body out if it needs your help so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below and i will talk to you guys in my next video